Hi, this is Ginger from My Sister Scupper. Today I want to share with you my mini album that I created using the Authentic Romance Collection. Um, I got this romance collection from Tamara at Country Craft Creations. and So thank you, Tamara. I will put a link to her store in the description box of this video. And I'm going to share with you a couple of the things that I did use. Um, I used the collection kit, which comes with the 16 double-sided papers and one of the uh, coordinating accents, they're kind of like die cuts and you punch them out, punch them out, comes inside the collection kit. So that's what I used. I used uh, the solid black artisan cardstock for my base. And I used um, two sheets of this bright pink, and I can't remember the name of it, but it's the Spectrum cardstock as well. And you'll see that on the photo mats. And then I did use this fabulous little... Uh, doily die. It's called Bow Bunny's Ornate Heart Die. And I got this also from Tamara at Country Craft Creations, I think a couple years ago. So I love that die. And I used an old Martha Stewart uh, punch right here, a big deep edge punch with the hearts on it. And then I think I used this little Martha Stewart punch here as well with the little tiny hearts on it. And I used that as well, I think, in here, but I can't remember. It's been a while since I made this, but just now shoot the video. So here's the mini album that I made, and it does measure six by eight. And I have a two and a half inch spine, and here is the back. So on the front cover, I tried to keep it um, with just a traditional red and cream colored colors here. I got some brick pa paper here. These are some of the punch outs here. I did use some of this cranberry colored cardstock that I had on my stash just to mat some of the prints so they'll show up on the uh, cream color here. And there's that do uh, heart doily die that I showed you from Bow Bunny. The border strip here. This is one of the 3 by 4 cut aparts and I added some pearls here to the center of the little lace flowers. And I kind of got a little carried away and I made it kind of chunky so I had to at the last minute come up with a closure. So it's a little punch hard. I put some glossy accents on it. This is some Prima trim that I had in my stash. A little gold bulldog clip and then I um, punched out some more of those little red hearts and attached them to the end of the ribbon just to keep it from fraying. And it's just clips right there to keep it closed. So you open it up. There's three page units in here. So, and I do have a tutorial already on my YouTube channel on how to make this page. I did use my 11 by 17 cardstock to make these pages. So on the inside front cover, I have a, oh, I did use some Lawn Fawn dies too. Here, some of the little lace die and the little stitched heart die from Lawn Fawn. And this pink, this is that Spectrum paper that I was telling you that I bought, that I got from, um, Tamara as well, and that's the Spectrum paper. Another punch out here, this is love, and then I put it on some foam tape. I inked on my edges with black soot. There's a magnet closure here. Punched out some more little hearts. I like the pink wood grain paper. I thought that was really pretty. And then we have places for photos right here. And then another larger heart here, and then another punch out. This is my best friend. And then I did add some a strip of design paper right here. So that closes like that. Around the first page front, um, I went ahead and I have a cute little 3 by 4 cutout with a cute little boy and girl. And then I have a little pull tab right here with a magnetic closure. So it opens like this. You could put a 3 by 4 photo here. And here's some more design paper. And then you open it this way. And you can put another photo here. And then right here is my waterfall. I have another 3 by 4 card here. And then I have ivory colored cardstock. And this is also um, the artisan cardstock in the natural color. Some more design paper here and some more of that solid pink spectrum. So that goes back like that. And then you flip the page, and I have a photo mat here, and this is a Lawn Fawn cross-stitch die. It's four and a quarter by five and a half. And then another little element here, and I did leave these open so the pictures can slide underneath there. And then here's where I used that large Martha Stewart punch. I used it on the tops of my pockets. And then I just kind of made myself a little template so I would know to cut my design paper here so you can still see the little dots and the dollies. And they are all going to have a photo mat inside. It's going to just be ivory and a strip of this uh, design paper here and they're plain on the back. Love that print. Authentique usually does a really nice Valentine collection. And then each of these page units will have a large 5x7 insert. And that's again the pink spectrum. And I think it's, I call it bubblegum pink, but I don't know what color it is, but it's pretty pretty. Over here I have a little accordion pocket here and then again I made a little banner here, punched out a little heart with a little punch I had in my stash. 
took my envelope punch board and made some little three by four envelopes and just put some little photo mats inside. They're actually little fold errors, so you put three by four photos right there. So, and I have a little stamp on up stamp punch, so I just kind of punched out some little scraps of my design paper and made little stamps and put them on there. There's another little punch out right there that says love, and then this one. Another, um, I trimmed this one down so it would fit. It says, P.S. I still love you. And again, there's a little accordion pocket. So these little envelopes will fit right there. So on the next page, I have a belly band right here. Again, oh, I did use another doily die. This one's actually, I got one I got at Michael's. Um, and then I have another little punch out here. And then right in here is a little trifold. So we got the hearts in the plaid and then the hearts in the stripes. So that goes back in like that, flips over like this, and again, another photo mat right here, and these are all left open. Again, another pocket photo mat, love the border strip paper. And uh, here's another one, the punch outs with a little heart. These are just plain pink, oopsies. Over here, again, another banner here, some more little red hearts that I punched out. Again, that border punch, another heart there. And then this was another punch out, and again, I left these open for the photo to slide. And then over here, this is where I kind of got myself in trouble. <laughs> I wanted to make these little elements right here and I wanted them to be mirror image. So um, that's why I needed the closure because I didn't allow enough room. So again, I have another punch out here and here. And then there's a three by four card here that I mounted on a piece of ivory cardstock. That old girl is so adorable. So it opens like this and you can put a photo here and then there's some journaling spots right here. And then this little pull tab, you pull on this, and it's the cute little double slider. So you could put two little photos there, or you could write a little love letter, and then it just closes back like this. Cute, huh? Um, over here, again, I have another 3 by 4 cutout. I did a little red heart punch there, and I mounted this one on black on top of ivory, so it's kind of the opposite. Again, place for photo here. Love this little punch out elm. This is your my person. That couple is adorable. <laughs> and then again, you pull on the cute little tab here and you have a double slider element right there for two little hidden photos or a little love note. Cute, huh? Love that. But again, I got it kind of chunky and I left a half an inch between my pages. Oopsie. Um, over here I made this a pocket and I have, I had a three by four card left and I wanted to use it and then I just stuck this photo mat in there and again that's uh, open. Again here I trimmed this element down so it would fit on the pocket. Again that border punch and again um, Another cute little photo mat, and these again are all open so the photo can just slide right underneath there. I love the rose print. It's probably my favorite. And then again, here's the third large photo mat. Over here, another pocket. Again, another punch out element here. And then I just used my, um, some punches and layered a little label right here. Again, I made this cute little banner, a little red heart punch. Again, another photo mat. And then over here, this is another little lawn fawn die. <laughs> kind of was in a die cutting mood I think. So there's a little magnet closure here so this opens like this. It says love and then it opens like this and it's a giant heart envelope. I know right? How cute! Cute little punch out stamp and then I die cut these three little notes in there with some of those scraps of the spectrum paper and they're plain on the back. And again the ivory is from is the artisan cardstock from Country Craft Creations. And that closes like that. Like this. There we go. Magnet closure. And then over on the back inside cover, I have a couple of pockets here. I made a cute little paper clip. I had this paper clip on my stash and I added a little flag to the end right here and a little punch heart. And then this is where I used that small border punch from Martha Stewart. I popped this up on some foam tape and just a photo mat right here. And they're plain on the back. And then a smaller one here and plain on the back. So those go back in there. Just like that. My little paper clip to keep it held down a little bit, like this. And there's the back. Cute little label there. Little stamp. And then again, see, it kind of like does that action. Oh, I can't believe I did that. I haven't done that in a long time. But anyway, so that's what that's on there for. So there you go, everybody. That's my cute little mini album. I think it's cute anyway. That I created using the Authentic Romance Collection. Thank you, Tamara from Country Craft Creations for giving me this collection. There you have it. Thanks for watching. Bye.